What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today I thought I would have sort of a discussion video for you guys where we're going to be talking about different archetypes that I think should be in the uh, Link Brains pack. If you guys haven't heard about the Link Brains pack, it's basically a set that's coming out for Japan where it's supposed to have uh, around 20 supporting game original themes, which basically 20 different archetypes. Of course, they cannot be, you know, from the anime, so that it kind of excludes, of course, like Dark Magician, Red Eyes, Blue Eyes, Elemental Heroes, uh... Uh, everything else, you know, from the anime, basically. So that makes us think that we're not going to see anything like that, but it's supposed to include fan favorite archetypes. And from what we've already seen from this set, what's already been leaked by Konami, is that we're going to see a new uh, Burning Abyss, new Gladiator Beast, and also a new Cleefort card. I don't know if it's just one of each or multiples, but basically these are the archetypes that are actually getting a new Link Monster. So that made me think, what other archetypes out there could we see a new Link Monster for? So of course for today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, several different archetypes that I think uh, might get a Link Monster in the Link Brains pack. Of course, I asked you guys on Facebook too to give me some ideas, so some of these are some ideas from you guys, some of these are uh, some of the cards I chose for myself, but uh, yeah, I mean there's so many I could talk about that we could even have another video on this, so let me know if you guys would like to see another one in the future. But anyway, let's go on ahead and talk about all these archetypes and uh, what a Link Monster could possibly do for them. Alright, so first off, let's go with an archetype you guys knew would be on this list because it's my favorite archetype, and that is Dragoonity. So I thought I would get it out of the way first, and you guys know I love Dragoonities, and I want to see some new support for them. And in the past two, different cards that we've seen actually work with them has been pretty good. We have seen a little bit of support, and also Dragoonities have been a powerful deck in the past, especially when they had Tempest and everything. They were actually uh, one of the stronger decks for a while. So basically, I was thinking for them to get a new Link Monster could actually be pretty good, because right now, as it stands, Dragoonities Dragoonities could do really well because of the different support we're seeing for different field spells. I mean, we have like Metaverse coming out really soon and Circuit Break, which is a trap card that instantly gets you a field spell. And of course, we all know how uh, Dragon Ravine is such a staple, you know, key card to Dragoonities. You gotta have their field spell, and that's what makes them work. So I was thinking, well, if they got a Link Monster, what would it do? What, what kind of card would it be? So when thinking about a Link Monster for them, I was thinking something along the lines, maybe a Link 3 or 2, something like that. I'm not really good at choosing the Link part. But anyway, maybe it would have an effect kind of similar to Dragon Ravine, where it could help you search for your Dragoonities. You know, maybe like you discard a card and you can get a Dragoonity monster from your deck to your hand, that kind of searching ability. And then also I was thinking a second ability that would be really cool would be something like, maybe let's say it has two Link arrows that are pointing back to your side of the field, and you can special summon a winged beast and a dragon from your graveyard to those link zones. You know, it could be like under level four, level four or lower, something like that. That way then you can get like ducks and uh, phalanx, then go for Vatriana, and then go through the whole combo, even getting a Stardust Dragon out of it, or something along those lines. I was thinking something like that might be pretty cool, just kind of a, a mix of being a searcher card and something to revive to help you start off the combo all over again. But yeah, I don't know if that might be too powerful or something like that, but that's something along the lines I would love to see for them. And then after that, we have Noble Knights. Yes, more Noble Knights support. We actually did get a new card for them in Extreme Force, or one that's been announced recently, and that is, of course, uh, Glory of the Noble Knights. It's a quick play spell for them, and basically what it does is it allows you to get one of your Noble Arms and then attach it to one of your Noble Knight Monsters. This has any equip card, of course, but, you know. So it's actually a really good quick play spell card for them. So I was thinking, well, since they're actually getting some new support, could they actually get a Link Monster? Well, with Noble Knights, if you guys have played them, if you already know, they can actually swarm the field fairly easily. I mean, they're based off being able to Synchro Summon and Xyz Summon. I always like the XC build, and with them, you could easily get, like, Medrot, get Boars out on your side of the field, and even, like, Noble Knight Brothers, swarm the field with three of these, so I was thinking, well, what if they made, like, a Link Monster, a Link 3, let's say, for Noble Knights, it could be a new version of Artorigus, a new version of Merlin, you could even say, something along those lines. But basically, what I want to see is a Noble Knight Link Monster that makes it so that you can equip your Noble Arms to him, just like the XCs, like Artorigus. You can get them from your graveyard, let's say, equip at least one, and then also add a uh, part of its effect where it can't be tributed when it has like an equip card to it, or just when it's on the field even, one or the other. I feel like it's more realistic if it has noble arms to it. But basically, if you guys know about uh, Noble Knight stuff, the reason I'm saying this is because the big weakness with them is, well, their theme, equip cards. So, of course, uh, when you have, you know, equip spells on your monsters, if they're flipped face down, those equip spells are destroyed. And of course, they can also be tributed for a Kaiju. So if you have a Link monster, which of course, they can't be sent to defense mode, they can't be even face down the fence because they don't have defense points. Link monsters, of course, have this ability. And if you also have it where you can't be tributed, 
there you go. You could actually have a really good card for those. So yes, this is kind of something on my own personal wish list, but also since they're already getting the new quick play, I feel like uh, we could actually see something for them, and I really hope it's something like I said, because Kaijus and just equipped cards and everything too are just such a big weakness for them that I feel like it's very possible. Then after that, Dark Worlds. Now this is something... I don't know if I actually want to see this happen, but one of my friends was saying that uh, this would be uh, pretty interesting to see. And uh, just something new for Dark Worlds could actually make sense too. I mean, they are another archetype that have been very powerful in the past. Also, they've seen a little bit of new support here and there. I mean, in like Code of the Duelist, we actually got uh, Dark World Brainwashing, which is a card that deals with Dark Worlds. So that was a little bit of a surprising card. I remember a lot of Dark World players being happy about that. And we could possibly see something new for them even, maybe like a new version of Grapha or something else even entirely, making it so you can, you know, easily uh, discard cards from your hand to the graveyard and then activate those Dark World effects. Again, I can't really speculate too much on what effect it would have, you know, I, I'm not a card creator like I said, and I could make something really broken probably, uh, you know, just talking about it like this, but if it could just do something like help their effects get off the ground even faster, open up some extra zones for them, it could be something really useful for them too. And yeah, I mean, if you give Dark Worlds something that can actually their effects faster, a new Link monster to open up more zones for them too, I could see that actually working out for them. So again, don't really have much speculation on how the effect would work, but if it could just get their effects going, that would definitely help them out. And then next up, I want to talk about Cosmos. Since we're talking about World Premiere archetypes, I feel like Cosmos actually make a lot of sense to get a new Link monster for them. Of course, uh, they are the archetype that's based off Wizard of Oz and Star Wars, so that's what uh, a friend of mine and I were talking about. Could the next card be something like a fusion of the Emperor or Snoke? and also like the, of course, the wizard himself together, something like that to kind of help them out. That could be something really cool. And also Cosmos as they are right now are actually doing really well. I mean, we're already seeing some different lists right now where they're doing good in this format as it is. And if they got a new Link Monster to help them out even more, that could definitely do something there. Like we could actually see Cosmos coming back into the game big time. And whenever I was thinking of a uh, Cosmo Link Monster, I was thinking of something like, let's say it's a Link 3 or something like that. Again, I'm not really sure what kind of links I'd put some of these at because they're hypothetical. But uh, let's say that maybe it's effect would be something like whenever it is special summoned, if it has a couple of Link arrows pointing towards you, that you could a special summon two banished Cosmo monsters to those link points then that they point to. So then you have to make sure on what monsters on where you're placed on your monsters, just like you do really with a uh, link monster and stuff nowadays. But also it could help bring back some of those banished uh, Cosmo monsters. I was thinking something like that. And then also since they usually have a life point paying thing, maybe uh, then you could also pay some life points and then get one of your banished uh, monsters and then add it back to the deck or something. I don't know. That's kind of the idea I had with it. But you know, some along those lines, basically just being, I, I figured it'd be something that would help you bring out more cosmos though really easily so that's why i'm thinking the probably the best part of that effect would be that if you were able to then summon it then it could help you bring out more cosmos that were banished afterwards so i thought that might be an interesting idea kind of similar to what i was saying with dragoonities really and of course here's another fan favorite mermels and atlanteans i thought i would kind of just you know put them together it might be kind of cheating if you want to consider it cheating i mainly mean mermels but i feel like atlanteans and mermels are basically the same archetype in a lot of ways because they work so well together so i wanted to bring them both up in this video i feel like this is actually really possible too by the way because mermels are still very powerful like they are really underrated and uh, they can do a lot of damage i mean we've even seen a reprint for mermel abistius recently and uh, it just kind of makes me wonder could they actually be building up to see something new for them i mean this is another archetype that was really cool a lot of fun to even play i played them a little bit not really too much because i never uh you know i never really had the money to build them or i never wanted to spend the money to build them when they're in their heyday and uh they had a ton of power to them too and like i said they're still a uh, force to be reckoned with i mean abyss megalo is even being hyped lately and everything too even going up price like the rare version of it i think at the least time of this video i've seen like at ten dollars and stuff and even beyond that so when I was thinking of a Link Monster for Mermels and Atlanteans, uh, the idea I had was probably a way so then you could uh, get back some of your Mermel monsters, add them to your hand, or even back into the deck, the ones that you are getting rid of and stuff too. So basically a card that can recycle. And also what I was thinking of, maybe something like if it has a monster that's linked to it, you can search your deck for a level 7 water monster.
monster or just even a Murmur monster from your deck and add it to your hand. That way you'd have another way to get Abysteus or, you know, Abyss Megalo and those kind of cards too. Or even being able to get them from the graveyard and add them back to your hand would be pretty cool. So I'm thinking of maybe like a recycling effect and even like a searcher, which is kind of common. I know with a lot of Link Monster ideas coming up with, but that is something I think would help them out a lot. Again, I'm not like a big time Mermel player, so I could be wrong with some of this, but I would love to know what you guys think on it. But that's, that's what I would think would help them out a lot too. And then of course we have sort of a forgotten archetype from the XC era, and that is Evil Swarms. Evil Swarms, we've seen kind of hints at them in different cards lately, but we haven't really seen any more direct support. I mean, I guess technically Exidon Knight was like the last thing we saw, I and mean, he's like one of the strong XC monsters, obviously. So, seeing something new for them could actually be pretty cool. I was thinking mainly just an upgrade for like Ophion, really is how I would think that the effect would work. Maybe something along the lines of whenever it's on your side of the field and it has a monster linked to it, that uh, let's say that Link 4 or higher monsters can't be special summoned. Something along those lines, because of course Ophion was like that where if it had an XC material, level 5 or higher monsters uh, cannot be special summoned. So, some along those lines, you could even have it too where I could search for one of the uh, infestation spells or traps if you want. But basically, I could see it just doing the same thing as Ophion. Like, Ophion is back and angry and a Link monster now. I could see that actually happening as well, because that's what it did basically when a Sea Summon came out. So, it would be kind of cool to see something like that for Link monsters too. And... Well, when I say kind of cool, not much fun to go up against, though, either. Then after that, I wanted to bring up Gravekeepers. This is kind of cheating. This might be kind of cheating. I'm not really sure. Gravekeepers were in an episode of GX. I mean, uh, Jaden does go against the Gravekeeper's Chief in a duel, so I don't know if they would technically count because they were kind of in the anime, but I don't know if a one-off episode really counts for that either. But anyway, it's just something I would like to talk about just because with Necro Valley getting its new errata and everything, with that new effect, it's actually really powerful. And with Metaverse coming out too, that trap card that can instantly search for it and play it, Seeing a new Gravekeeper could actually be very powerful. I mean, make it so that uh, whenever you have Necrovalley on your side of the field, of course, you already have it so you lock down your opponent on the graveyard. What if the Link Monster helped lock down your opponent on the extra deck? Maybe something, again, like I've already brought up with uh, Evil Swarms, lock down higher Link Monsters even or something. Or maybe so you can only even have like so many or you, can, you can't activate their effects. You can still Link Summon, but their effects are negated while they're on the field or, or in the extra monster zone even or something along those lines. I can see something like that happening. Another one, another deck that's basically based off locking down your opponent like Evil Swarms and just kind of getting an upgrade for that is something I feel like we would see. So something like that could actually be really likely. Again, I don't know if it counts because they were an episode, but it would be cool, especially after our new Necro Valley and Metaverse coming out. It would be pretty interesting. And yep, there you go. That's the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, of course, uh, tell me in the comments if you guys agree or disagree with my choices in this video. Remember, they're just that. They are my choices on this. Just speculation. So I could be wrong on all of these. I could be right on some of these or, or whatever too. And it's just kind of all in good fun. So if you disagree with me, let me know what archetypes you guys would choose. And again, like I said, it's not really like these are the only archetypes I would choose. It's just that I don't know how long this video is going to be and it's hard to talk about all the ones I want to talk about. So there could be possibly a part two or even part three to this video. And I even want to do one on the anime archetypes that I really didn't feel like I could talk about because they're not going to be part of the Link Brains pack, but we can still do kind of a speculation video. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos that are like this kind of speculation videos, because I got to say it was pretty fun to come up with and write down a list. And you guys gave me some awesome ideas too on a lot of these archetypes too to add to this video when I asked you guys on Facebook. So I want to thank you guys for that. Again, Again, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.